So what does the Egyptian symbol referred to today as the on cross mean originally? Well, what it meant originally was that it was a tool, surprisingly enough, that was created in order to dig. It became a, an iconic symbol when one of the high priests of Egypt began wearing it around his neck, mainly because he wanted to eat his food more. And surprisingly enough, it developed from there. You see, it was a treasured, valued item, for there weren't many made. And so it became that which the high priest gained. And from there, it became a symbol that others wore. And of course, he couldn't very well say that this is my spoon. You see? Mm -hmm. So he had to come up with a reason for it. And he said that this was a symbol that represented mm, the essence of Ra. And so it began. Why couldn't he say that this is my spoon? What, what would have happened if he did? Well, he was a high priest. He'd have been laughed and he would have lost his job. Is it? And that symbol went on to appear in different societies as well? Very much. The Minoan society, the Greek yes. society? Yes. Is that because it was revered and passed on? Very much. And also it was a great spoon. <laughs> So the original use was a, it was a tool to dig yes. into your food, into your plate? In the food, in the plate, in the earth, yes. It was a tool, that's all it was. Mm -hmm. And who, who invented it? Mm. A, hmm, an individual long before the Egyptians, and it was rediscovered as the Egyptians were digging, and they found it and revered it. Or they hadn't the thought of it in that form. Is it? Mm -hmm. And how long ago, before the Egyptians, was it? Approximately 2,142 years. Before the Egyptians? Yes, six months, 12 days, nine hours, and seven minutes. That's approximate, of course. <laughs> cool. Thank you. Another you question know? here. Can tooth enamel be restored? Yes. How? Ah. That's the key question, isn't it? Mm -hmm. There's a number of things you can do. Number one, mm, brush your teeth regularly. Use dental floss. Mm. And when you brush your teeth, don't brush your teeth with mm, things that are going to harm it. Most toothpastes, and commercial toothpastes, though they've been developed to a certain degree to assist the tooth, they don't really truly... Mm, expand the tooth enamel. There are some commercial toothpaste that do work at rebuilding some of the tooth enamel and those are beneficial. If you really want a cheap toothpaste to rebuild your tooth enamel, we would suggest to you a mixture of one part baking soda, one part wood ash, and, ah yes, and one part Mm, goats, mm, milk, mm, cheese. Put that together into a paste and use it to brush your teeth. Mm, sounds interesting. And mm. use it every day? Well, how often do you want to brush your teeth? Twice a day at least. Mm, there you go. Okay, gotcha. In other words, it takes the place of your toothpaste. Mm. Of course, it won't taste as good as some of the toothpastes <laughs> today, but it will be effective. Gotcha. Is wood ash something you get after burning a log? Yes. Okay. Oh, wow. Huh. Mm -hmm. Why that? Mm, it has certain properties that can be used as abrasives to clean without damaging the enamel, and there are also certain minerals within it that would be helpful to the to the teeth. Has this ever been discovered before? Many times. Oh, so, okay. Some use yak's milk, yak's cheese, yak milk cheese. Some use the 
mm, mm, call it the mm, effluence mm, from the yaks behind. Mm. <laughs> That's definitely an interesting flavor. <laughs> as we said, it won't be as interesting as your commercial toothpaste. Where do you think your commercial toothpaste came from? All the formulations have been around for hundreds of years, if not thousands, well, thousands of years, mostly hundreds of years, you see? Mm -hmm. The Egyptians used to use it. Oh, wow. Anything else, dear friends? Um, one question here is, uh, the health protocol uh, suggests drinking a lot more water than what what we usually drink. Yes. And there is um, a question here asking you to comment on um, hyponatremia. Yes. And suggest a way to gently increase the water intake to 18 to 21 cups daily. If you want to gently increase it, then take an extra glass of water every two to three weeks. In other words, extra glass per day for two to three weeks. Mm. Dear friends, your governments recommend eight to ten glasses of water per day. Mm. We're recommending 18 to 20. So basically we're recommending almost double, a little over double. So mm, the key for yourselves is to realize that all we're saying to you is that eight to ten glasses while nourishing to your body will not truly nourish every cell in your body. It's not that difficult to drink 18 to 20 or 22 glasses of water per day. It's not that difficult. What it requires is a willingness to drink water. Mm, so, and when we say glasses, we're not saying pick a tall eight, 16, 18 ounce glass and that's one glass. We're saying quite simply eight ounces of water it equals to a glass of water. So, when you're looking at it that way, dear friends, and if you use good, clean spring water, fresh spring water better when it's nice and cold, well, you'll find yourselves really relishing drinking water, and it won't be that difficult. And you won't find... There is a psychology within the government corridors that says that too much water, and you'll literally drain minerals out of your body and you'll harm your kidneys. But dear friends, 18 to 22 is not too much water. You are water beings, surprisingly enough. Every one of your cells requires water. Yes, at first you'll pee a lot. Absolutely. Because water will go in and water will come out. But eventually, Water will go in and less will come out. And you'll, your normal urination uh, will come back into effect. Yes, you urinate, but you'll urine, you're supposed to urinate basically every 30 to 45 minutes in the day anyways. It's a healthy urination. You don't want mm, stuff to go into your body and stay there. You want it to flush out get the nutrients and move on. Your body is efficient. It's not going to sit there and say, hang on a second, need this for at least three or four days so that we can remove all the necessary minerals from it. We assure you, if things stay in your body three to four days, you're going to have difficulty. Your colon, your intestines, it, they need water to move all your food through. Your cell structures, your blood, your lungs, everything needs water. So dear friends, quit trying to complain about drinking water and start drinking it. And secondly, quit complaining about mm, how hard it is and just start drinking it and move yourself up as slowly as you want, preferably quickly. You think? Mm -hmm. And once we do reach the point of drinking this much water, will is it possible to heal diseases? All diseases are possible to be healed at any time. Water simply is a catalyst 
for virtually every function in your body. It provides oxygen, it provides minerals, it provides electrolytes, it provides the possibility of hydrogen, uh, nitrogen, it provides all great stuff to your body. Do you think? Mm -hmm. So, the key here is to realize that mm, it's simply you're providing the nourishment necessary for your body to heal itself. You're providing an environment in which the body can heal. Yes, there's other functions, there's other factors. It's not drinking water is going to heal you. This is not what we're suggesting. But we can assure you that not drinking water will kill you. How's that? Okay. Okay. I wonder, uh, is drinking um, uh, distilled water or demineralized water dangerous for the body? Of course, because it pulls out all of the minerals. Ah, huh, okay. Distilled water is of no benefit, no value. Demineralized water, no benefit, no value. What you're getting is getting oxygen and hydrogen. That's it. You want the minerals. You want the essential minerals that the body needs that can't get any other way. Do you think? Yes. Okay. That's great. Thank you, Andres. We thank you, dear friend. Is that it? That's it. Then to you all, the appreciation of all. The appreciation, the appreciation of all, Andres. Wonders may move to end this session. Please. Please perform all healings that are chosen. Done. Please relax the body to its natural state now. And to you all, the appreciation of all. The appreciation, the appreciation of, of all, all wonders. wonders. I would like Renee to awake feeling completely loved now. Okay, well, that session um, it was kind of interesting because I saw this guy drinking water and it was like he was drinking two-dimensional he was drinking paper like water the water was two-dimensional it didn't have any body to it it was just like a flat thing and it was going into his body and he was expecting it to do something but all it was doing was going in and straight out it was just so flat then I saw another person drinking pure spring water and it had like it had substance it had essence it had life force it had it had minerals it had all kinds of stuff and it. it was just like a real life thing and as he's drinking it, he went from a two-dimensional being to all of a sudden he popped right out and became a third-dimensional being. You know, like he got, all of a sudden it's like, poof, the body opened up. And that's it. That's all I got. Thank you.